You are late, Prince Kaelthas. I thought you elves prided yourselves on punctuality. It could not be helped, Lord Garethos. We ran into a group of night elves from across the sea, and- I am not interested in your fanciful excuses. You elves are here to serve the Alliance, thus you will obey my commands to the letter. Is that clear? Yes, Lord Garethos. Now, the undead have begun a new offensive to retake Dalaran. Their primary strike force marched south through Silverpine, but we managed to halt its advance at the base of the mountains. My men are ready to fight, my lord. When shall we leave for the front? We will be leaving immediately, but your people will be staying here. Our scouts report that a second strike force may be heading this way from the east. I need you to repair the outlying observatories so that we can monitor that region. But, my lord, we are warriors, not- You have your orders, Prince Kael'thas. I trust your elven ears heard them clearly enough. Move out! Insolent son of a... Let's get this over with. That's done it. The observatory has been repaired. Let's move quickly and get to work on the others. Damn. We'll have to find a way across the lake to reach the outlying gold mine. Naga, you fought for the demon Illidan. We are on our own now, good prince. I am called Lady Vash. My brethren and I come in peace to offer you our aid. You have nothing I need, witch. Is that so? I thought you might require boats to reach the observatories you seek. And you would give these freely? Why should I trust you, my lady? Our two races share a common ancestry, Kale. Now, against the undead, we share a common peril. These boats are merely a gesture of goodwill. Then... I accept your offer. Thank you. This observatory is repaired. We need to move on to the next one. Hail, Lord Garethos. The observatories have been repaired as you requested. We were just about to- I received ill news from the front line. Is it true that you've consorted with the vile Naga? Well, yes, my lord. They helped us cross the lake. I assure you they pose no threat to us or to- They are inhuman and must be crushed like any other enemy. Be careful where you place your loyalties, Blood Elf. I will not tolerate treason in my ranks. Now I must return to the front. You will remain here and wait for further orders. Greetings, Prince Kale. I bring word from Grand Marshal Garethos. What news from the front? Apparently, the observatories you repaired detected a large undead force massing nearby. Lord Garethos has commanded that you crush the undead before they can march on Dalaran. That doesn't sound too difficult. Unfortunately, your forces may be a little thinned. You see... Lord Garethos has also ordered that all foot soldiers, cavalry, and support teams report to the front lines immediately. You men, move out! This is preposterous. Am I to assault the undead with nothing but sticks and harsh language? The Grand Marshal has great confidence in your... abilities. Be creative. Garethos. I'm starting to hate that man. Prince Kale, they've taken over our outlying bases. We're completely surrounded. Those bases are lost. We'll just have to improvise. 
Ishnu Daldia, Prince Kale. We've come to join your fight against the vile dead. Greetings, Lady Vash. I would welcome your aid gladly. But the commander I serve does not approve of your kind. I do not see him here sharing your peril. Let me bolster your forces with my own. If not, you and your brethren will surely fall. What you say is true, but I... I accept your offer, Vash. Good. Let's get to it then. You have my thanks, lady. This victory would not have been possible without your aid, though I fear I may have doomed myself by accepting it. The human you serve trusts no race but his own. His sense of honor runs no deeper than his tolerance. It is loyalty and duty that bind me to him, and to this failing alliance. But now those tenets seem as distant as our ruined homeland. All I know is that my brethren and I hunger for something more. Then perhaps, young Kale, it is time to find a new path to power and glory. I can't explain it exactly, but ever since our homeland was destroyed, my brethren and I have felt empty, almost drained of our spirit. There is a, a hunger now that has hardened our hearts. I know this hunger, Kale. Like us, your people are addicted to magic. It flowed through your veins for over 10,000 years. And now, with the corruption of your land and the Sunwell that empowered you... We have been cut off from our power, from our birthright. Without a new source of magic, my people will surely die. There are other founts of power in this world, Kale. Demons, for instance. You speak of madness, my lady. We will never be that desperate. Your aversion is understandable, but still. Prince Kale, Grand Marshal Garethos has arrived. He has brought a full battalion with him. Damn. Bosh, you'd best leave. I cannot guarantee your people's safety. Naga warriors! Forget about them! So, Kale, you've shown your true colors at last. I knew you were in league with those serpents. Now I have all the proof I need to execute every traitorous one of you. Please, my lord, spare my men. It was my decision to- Save your breath. I never trusted you, vain, glorious elves. It was a mistake to accept you into the Alliance in the first place. Now, at long last, you'll be dealt with appropriately. Take them away! How could I have let this happen to my brethren? Locked in these cells? Our thirst for magic will devour us. It'll all be over soon, traitor. Lord Garethos plans to execute the lot of you at dawn. Sunrise can't get here fast enough. These elves give me the creeps. Don't worry. This prison was built by the Kirin Tor to keep their pets from getting loose. The elves' magic is useless inside those enchanted cells. Greetings, Kale. I assume we're not too late? On the contrary, Vash. Your timing is impeccable. Once again, I am in your debt. But even if we free my brethren, there is nowhere to run. Garethos' forces outnumber us ten to one. You stand at a dangerous crossroads. You can either stay here and be slaughtered by human hands, or choose a darker path to freedom. What is this darker path? In the city above us stands a portal, a gateway that leads to other worlds. My master Illidan awaits us on the other side of that portal. Lead your people to him, and he will forge you a new destiny. 
He will sate your people's burning hunger. Side with a rogue demon, or lead my people to their certain deaths. There is no choice here, Vash. We'll have to free my lieutenants first. They'll be able to rally the others while we assault the exit. As you will. I sense powerful spirits stirring nearby. Arthas murdered a number of Archmagi when the Scourge ravaged this land. Now the wizards and visible spirits can find no rest. Perhaps we should track them down and give them peace. The blasted elves are free! We can't take them alone! We don't have to. We can loose these creatures on them. You've gone as far as you're going to go, Prince Kale. Make it easy on yourself. You serve the Kirintor well, Kassan. But the old order has passed away. My people and I are leaving this damn prison, one way or another. It's a shame to see a good wizard gone bad. Do what you have to do, lad. All right, men, pull back. Back to the portal. Now, young prince, we take one final step towards destiny. What is this desolate place, Vash? This shattered world is called Outland, young prince. It is all that remains of Draenor, the former homeland of the Orcish Horde. Amazing. I remember when Khadgar led the Alliance expedition here years ago. He almost succeeded in wiping the Orcs out for good. In an attempt to escape, Ner'zhul opened a number of massive dimensional gateways. But all they succeeded in doing was tearing the planet apart. Yes. And now, amongst the ruins of this dead world, we have come to find the Master. Illidan. Why here? What could possibly interest him in this barren wasteland? That I do not know. Regardless, we should seek him out quickly. Agreed. Actually, I'm anxious to meet him again. If he can cure my people of their hunger for magic, I will gladly pledge myself to his service. This place is unnerving. We've marched for three days and seen no signs of life. Still, I can't shake the feeling that we're not alone out here. We aren't. I caught the scent just as the wind shifted. Night Elves, what could they be doing here? The Warden Maiev swore to capture Illidan at any cost. She must have brought her warriors here to hunt him. There. Illidan lies chained in that cage. The Night Elves must be taking him to their stronghold. Then we must rescue him before they reach safety. Lady Vash, your rescue was most timely. The thought of spending another 10,000 years in Maiev's prison was not a pleasant one. We could not forsake you, Lord Illidan, but you owe your freedom to them. Who are they, Vash? The young elf looks familiar, but... They call themselves the Blood Elves, my lord. They are the last mortal descendants of the Highborn, who served you long ago. This is Prince Kael'thas. He and his brethren have come to bask in your wisdom and pledge themselves to your will.
You were right to come to me, Gale. I share the pain of your addiction, your hunger magic. Can you help us, Lord Illidan? Can you cure us? There is no cure, young one. But there are ways to feed the hunger. Follow me and I will grant your people more magic than they can imagine. So be it. Lord Illidan, my fellow Blood Elves and I humbly pledge ourselves to your service. Then arise, young Kale. You shall be my right hand and the harbinger of my wrath. What of your plans, Master? Hmm. Many months after the Legion's defeat at the Battle of Mount Hyjal, I was visited by one of the last great demon lords, Kil'jaeden. Illidan, in the past you have been both friend and foe to the Burning Legion. But by consuming the Skull of Gul'dan, you sealed our defeat in this world. I've come to offer you a second chance to serve us. What would you have me do, Great One? My creation, the Lich King, has betrayed me. He dared to break the pact that binds him to my will. But his spirit still lies trapped inside the frozen throne of Ice Crown. Destroy it for me, and I will grant you your heart's desire. It shall be done, Great One. It shall be done. At Dalaran, I attempted to use the Eye of Sargeras to melt away the polar ice caps surrounding the Ice Crown Glacier. If the spell had succeeded, the Lich King would have been vanquished forever. But the cursed Night Elves intervened. And the spell went awry. Given my failure, I fled to this desolate place to evade Kill Jaden's wrath. Now, if I am to remain here in exile, we will need to ensure that Kill Jaden's agents have been cleansed from the land. Long ago, after Dranor's explosion, a brutal pit lord named Magtheridan rallied the surviving orcs and took control of Outland. Since then, his forces have grown strong. How, Master? If most of the orcs were killed when this world exploded, how has he bolstered his ranks? By using the very portals that tore the planet apart. Many of Ner'zhul's dimensional gates still stand, young prince. Magtheridan lures scores of hapless demons through them daily. Then we must seal them permanently. Yes. We will seek out each of the gates, and I will close them myself. Once they have been sealed, we will move against Magtheridan's Black Citadel and claim Outland as our own. Magtheridan's forces have besieged that Dranai village. If we drive them back, the Dranai will join us in our fight. Done. I am Akama, Elder Sage of the Dranai. Lord Illidan promised to rid us of our ancient enemies in exchange for our loyalty. These cursed orcs of Magtheridan, a terrible lord whose black citadel lies to the west. Under his command, the orcs hunted us to the brink of extinction. But now, with Lord Illidan behind us, we will fight back and retake our ancestral lands. We also serve Illidan, old one. Very well, stranger. We've done it, Master. The dimensional gates are all sealed. There's no way for Magtheridan to call reinforcements now. True. But his standing forces are still considerable. Assaulting his Black Citadel will not be easy, Kale. I wouldn't have it any other way. Our enemies draw near, Lord Magtheridan. These upstarts are tiresome gnats, nothing more. 
The might of Mac Feridan cannot be denied. I am the Lord of Outland. Those who dispute my rule will soon regret their folly. Mactheridan has grown strong over the years, but he has had few real foes to contend with. He has become decadent and complacent. The boisterous cur cannot match our cunning or our will. This will be a glorious battle, Master. Though Mactheridan's forces vastly outnumber ours, your warriors are prepared to fight to the end. I am pleased by your people's zeal, young Cale. Their spirits and powers have been honed in this harsh wilderness. Their courage alone may be enough to... Lord Illidan, new arrivals come to greet you. We Draenei have fought the Orcs and their demon masters for generations. Now at last, we will end their curse forever. We are yours to command, Lord Illidan. As I promised, your people shall have their vengeance, Akama. By night's end, we will all be drunk with it. Bosh, Kale, give the final order to strike. The hour of wrath has come. I do not know you, stranger, but your power is vast. Are you an agent of the Legion? Have you been sent to test me? <laughs> I have come to replace you. You're a relic, Magtheridan. A ghost of a past age. The future is mine. From this moment on, Outland and all of its denizens will bow to me. Hear me now, you trembling mortals. I am your lord and master. Illidan reigns supreme. What is this, Vash? Where did this storm come from? Keep your head down, fool. Something terrible is drawing near. failed to destroy the Frozen Throne as I commanded. And still you thought to hide from me in this forsaken backwater. I thought you to be more cunning, Illidan. Kildaden, I was merely set back. I was attempting to bolster my forces. The Lich King will be destroyed. I promise you. Indeed. Still, these servitors you've gathered show some promise. I will give you one last chance, Illidan. Destroy the Frozen Throne, or face my eternal wrath. Perhaps hiding here was not the most prudent decision. Still, the quest lies before us. Will you follow me into the cold heart of death itself? The Naga are yours to command, Lord Illidan. Where you go, we follow. The Blood Elves are yours as well, Master. We will drive the Scourge before us and shatter the Frozen Throne as you command. <laughs> 